Hi, this is John Shipley with the St. Paul Pioneer Press. I'm here with Jamie Carroll, who um, really terrific acquisition for the Twins this year. has been fantastic. Had a great game last night. Went three for three, drove in a couple runs, and scored one or two. Uh, but today I want to talk to him about defense, and he's agreed to explain to us the tools of the trade here. Um, so I'm going to have him break out all three of his infield gloves. All right, Jamie, why don't you show us what which is which here? All right, well, actually, what I got here um, is some gloves. I'm actually, these are the ones I use for third base, and uh, I'm breaking this one in uh, to get ready that it's almost there. But it's a, for me, I use 11 and 3 quarter inch glove, and uh, this is one I've had that I had to break out uh, when I started to move over to third until, until this one, other one gets ready. Okay. This one here is 11 and a half. I use it for short, and um, Right now, I like the feel of it so much that I'm actually using it at second uh, for the meantime. Uh, but the one I use for second base is a 11 and a quarter. So I go 11 and a quarter, 11 and a half, and 11 and three quarters. And, you know, depending on the glove, maybe sometimes 12 inch glove. So they get progressively larger as you go toward third. Yeah, right? I go, as I go from second short to third, I uh, I go up and. The reason why I do that is the second base uses a little bit smaller glove. You got to be real quick with turning the double play. Mm -hmm. So I like the smaller glove to have the feel of, uh, of just feeling the ball in there and being able to reach in there uh, without a, not a lot of space to be able to turn the double play. Mm -hmm. um, short, you still need to be quick, but you're going to have to range a little more. You got to cover some more ground. So I like to have a little bit more uh, of a glove to be able to if you go in the hole or go far up the middle, um, that extra little half inch goes a far away as far as uh, you know, making a play or just missing a play. Okay. And then the third, um, explain that one to me. Then at third, I go big because now you're down there at third where the ball's either smashed to you or you hit a high chopper and you got to make a play on the run. And uh, so I try to have as much glove as I possibly can, um, but yet not not too big to where I can't find the ball when I mm -hmm. go in there. Um, so it's 11 and 3 quarters and the ball is smashed to me. I got a little bit more glove, a little bit uh, more room for air. Having some more space in here is not as much of a, of a panic or a rush. I can find it and still set my feet to be able to throw. So I tried to do it mainly when I when I went over to third and realized that uh, you know, I miss some balls in a sense to me. If, it, if the logic makes sense, then I'm going to try to do it, and uh, that's been the case. How do you stay sharp that way? Oh, it's a matter of um, that particular day, wherever I'm at in the lineup, that's where I'm going to get my work in. And, uh, you know, when you do have an occasional off day, I'll make sure that I bounce around and, and get some balls at short and get some double place turns from, from second base. Um, and so it's just a matter of going out and using BP for that for that practice and being prepared for the game. Do you have any desire to play those positions at all in major league? Um, I think it'd be fun to know that in your career you, you kind of hit every one of them. I think it'd be fun. You know, I would love to have the, the nine innings and nine positions kind of thing, but uh, you know that, that's hard to come by these days. So.